Hey guys, so I am in Santa Monica in a hotel room because I am going to this conference thing that starts at 8 a.m. And knowing me, if I don't like, like if I don't actually invest in waking up early, I won't. And from where I live, I would have to get up at like 5 a.m. in order to make it by 8 a.m. because traffic during that time in LA just sucks. Like, it's not even, I don't even live that far from Santa Monica, but it's just like the traffic is so killer and driving so early in the morning, I'm just like going to fall asleep at the wheel. So that's what I've been doing. And um, it was really weird because I was in Santa Monica earlier today and I wasn't planning on staying in a hotel. I wasn't even planning on going to the conference until like 10 p.m. at night. And then all of a sudden I decided to go um, because I never ever regret not going. Like I always feel like, Going to these events and conferences, like, yeah, they might seem like a waste of time, but I never regret it because I always meet, like, one or two people who I'm, like, actually friends with or, like, we help each other out or, like, we have a strong connection or whatever. So I always force myself to go to these conferences even though I don't really feel like it because of inertia, right? I mean, honestly, like, what am I going to do, like, if I don't attend these conferences, like... Yeah, I could be working or I could be wasting time watching other people's YouTube videos, you know, like it's or like spending time, wasting time responding to like emails that don't need to be responded to. So I always tell myself to go to these conferences. And also I feel like um not that I'm bitter, but I feel like I, you know, I didn't go to business school and I'm not planning on ever going to business school. So like I don't have that network that a lot of my other friends do who did spend like 200 grand on business school. So My thing is, like, I need to invest money and um, time into these conferences and events so that way I can meet people and I can have a network, right? It might not be, you know, like a Harvard Business School network, but if I do go to the right events, I think I can get something like that in terms of entrepreneurship. The second thing is um, I am having huge changes to my channel. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to be posting on this channel a lot more, Miss Girly Geek. Um, I'm going to be posting maybe every day or a couple times a week. And this is going to be me. This is going to be Daisy, my vlog channel. I might vlog more of my life. It's just going to be like videos of maybe like a haul or like, what is that? Of like... What is that? It's freaking me out. Oh, it's that thing. You see there's like a little mirror here. Okay. Um, like I want to, I'll be posting hauls and just like random things on that channel, on this channel. And then on Perfect Beauty, I'm going to be posting like really more professionally edited cut videos that might or might not have me in them. So that way... You know, Daisy is still on YouTube, but I'm just going to be on this channel. And then Perfect Beauty is going to be like hacks and like TMI Tuesdays and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to be here a lot more. And I'm just like really excited to be able to upload content on this channel without having to feel pressure. It's not like edited well enough. I just felt like so stressed out that like things on the other channel were not perfect. And that kind of prevented me from... I'm not sure. Like, I just didn't know, like, where I was going with it. Um, and I was, like, super emotionally attached, I think. So, like, this this will be good for me to be able to post on this channel so I'm not, like, as emotionally attached. Or I'm, like, I can be emotionally attached to this channel because it's not at a level where anything matters because it only gets, like, a few hundred views. Um, but the other channel, you know, it has – a lot of views and subscribers and I guess I just don't want to disappoint by not putting out the best content I can and then I get really frustrated that sometimes it's not the best content and I just like I just like struggle a lot with that channel it's like kind of hard for me so yeah I'm gonna be posting on a girly geek maybe I'll do a day of the life of I really want to do oh I, I bought a bunch of stuff on Victoria's Secret Sammy annual sale so I'm gonna be posting a haul of that and um like any kind of video request you want me to do on this channel and also like yeah, I should do an announcement, but I'm going to be driving all my traffic from that channel of people who like to watch Daisy onto Miss Girly Geek. And then people who like to watch Skincare Hacks will just stay on Perfect Beauty. You know, got, got what I'm saying? 
So I'm super excited for tomorrow. I have a huge day. I have the conference thing in the morning, an event at night. And like basically how my life goes is like I work from probably 10 to 3, right? Like work at the office with my employees and like the whole day is not actually me doing work. It's about like answering everyone's question, which is really interesting. Like I don't really get anything done during the day and then I'll go work out and then I come back and I go to my office, my co-working space and then I get a solid few, three, four hours of my own work done. And then sometimes after that, like at 12, 1 in the morning, I then um, have calls with people I work with overseas. So that is kind of how my life is, which um, I really do like. It keeps me busy, but I don't really start work until like late at night when like everybody else is not working because they don't need my attention, right? So maybe I should start waking up early for that. Um, I broke my nail here. Do you see this? So my nails are really nice. They're my real nails. But this nail, I don't know how I broke it. I think I was like doing yoga or something and like it broke. I'm not sure, but. Oh my, I'm getting migraine. I feel it on the onset. I've stopped getting migraines for, um, the past couple of months and now I think they're coming back and it's always like because I don't drink enough water I don't eat enough Ugh. so annoying why do guys like just text you randomly you know like like, this guy texted me, and he was like, oh, where do you live? And I told him where I lived. He's like, oh, that's far. And I'm like, what the fuck? Am I supposed to be, like, close to you? Like, like, what do you want me to do? Like, move closer to you? No, I'm not going to do that. Like, do you think all these girls are, like, going to, like, show up for you? Whatever. If he wants to be with those girls, he can be with those girls. But I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to meet him when he thinks I live too far. Does that make sense? So... I was just, like, really pissed off about that because it's, like, where are the fucking gentlemen anymore? Like, when my dad was, um, like, when my dad was, like, dating my mom, like, he would, like, freaking ride his bike six hours because they didn't have, he couldn't afford, like, a train ticket or whatever. He had to, like, freaking ride his bike, you know? And now people are, like, oh, I'm too, like, lazy to, like, drive, like, 30 minutes to you? Okay, well, there we go. Like, that's it. Like, whatever. Um... Yeah, so I just don't really understand that. And, uh, yeah, I'm really upset, actually, over a few things. Um, I'm really upset over a few things. I don't want to say it on here. But, um, guys just can believe what they want to believe, right? So stupid. But it's time for bed because I have to get up because I didn't pay $200 a night for this hotel for no reason. So I am going to sleep. Good night.